I also was able to take this picture from Dynasty. Dynasty's been having some issues because, uh, first of all, if you're six foot four and you weigh 54 pounds, you have the most incredible case of cancer I've ever seen in my entire life. So. What is up, everybody? It is Jake back with the MF Film Room. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to be up to date on all things EA College Football, hit that red subscribe button, hit the like button as well, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you like college football content, go subscribe to my other channel, Master Football with Jake Posey. Link is in the description. But enough about all that EA College Football content. Let's go. All right, guys, I know you guys are just like me. Your thumbs are hurting. You're ready to go. You're getting super mad at your left tackle because he's getting blown off the ball constantly. But for right now, again, as good as the game has gone, as much as we like this game, as happy as it is to be here versus NCAA Football 2014 with all those old mechanics, there are certain things that the game needs to improve upon. If you've been playing at all, you've been noticing certain bugs here and there that need to be addressed. What we want to do with this video is talk about that because it sounds like the EA devs are way ahead of us in terms of addressing that. Again, what we all want to do is go through a couple that they're talking about, a couple that I noticed that hopefully will eventually be addressed. Let's get into a tweet from Bordeaux that articulates some of these right now. So Bordeaux, and you know he's plugged in with EA. He says, here's a list of key issues in College Football 25 EA is working on. He says right here, this issue of some players being unable to load into a previously established online dynasty. First of all, that's something that's been addressed right now. I actually tried to do that with my Xbox right here. I had issues with that. They're still working on it. Hopefully it gets addressed. Super Sim Logic tuning. Again, there's too many FCS schools upsetting Power 5 schools. Again, we're hoping that that doesn't happen to Colorado when they play North Dakota State. That's going to be a tough one pretty quick here. Uh, also talking about the top 25 polls, CFP. Um, it, it, this The Pac-2 is a weird one because there's a certain amount of teams you have to have in a conference, but they only have two. You have to add people in. It's kind of goofy how that kind of works. I have noticed a lot of weird issues with the conference scheduling across the board. So uh, I've been doing some things where I have like, I'll have, you know, 13 teams in a conference and then I'll have an eight game conference schedule and there will be five home and three away, something like that. It should be four and four. Again, the logic behind that, they need to probably iron some of that out. I actually had one where my brother sent me an invite for a dynasty, and I had six conference games. All of them were on the road. So I had I had four home games, eight away games, six on the road. It shouldn't work like that. It should typically, if it's an even number of conference games, it should be split. They need to work on that, uh, the logic for that going forward. We also see, uh, you know, the issue with uh, modified conferences rules not saving. That's been happening a, 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 to a lot of people. Again, I just mentioned that before. Um, one thing here, the big one here that's been infuriating me that actually is affecting the on ga the on field gameplay because with the non conference gameplay you can adjust that. I mean, it, you can't adjust it as well as you'd like to. You want it to be perfect. But if let's just say it's five home, three away for an eight game conference schedule, then you just schedule one more or two more away games. So you have one. Uh, you know, home game in non-conference, and then three away games in non-conference. That way you can make it like six and six. I know the top teams don't do that, but you can make it, you know, you can address it in some ways. This one, you can't. The issue when a recruit reaches their top five stage, sometimes it won't display the recruit is ready to visit despite meeting the requirements. I had this happen to me multiple times when I'm like, I have my crappy school. I'm like, dude, I need you to commit. And then ultimately, he's like, he's in the top five. It says, yeah, you could schedule them for a, uh, a commit or for a visit, only if they're in their top five and you're like, I'm in the top five. It doesn't let you do that. Also it talks about some recruiting, tuning, um, the small chance of a freeze when simulated individual plays quickly after exiting Super Sim. He even mentioned though with this too, Bordeaux had a really good point where he was like, you know, one of the issues with a lot of these things is that you, you have to experience some of them in particular in order to notice that they're happening because they're not super common. This could be one of them. One of the ones that he was specifically talking about was a Utah and Wyoming display incorrect athletic branding on their equipment in Dynasty. Again, I don't, you know, use UTEP or Wyoming. Also, incorrect commentary when playing a game. Uh, when playing as the first game of the season in the dynasty at Utah. We also have a Florida State's War Chant and Tennessee's Rocky Top are not audible when playing only on Xbox Series S. So I have a Series X, so I don't know what's going on there. So again, there's little things like that are happening across the board. The following teams' conferences have incorrect logos. Stanford, UMass, well, they do have an incorrect logo. It should be the Pac-12. UMass, Western Michigan, Jacksonville State, FIU, New Mexico, SEC, Conference USA, and Sunbelt. So that's a lot of teams. That's a lot of teams that are affected in there. Uh, also talking about in Team Builder, the second custom image layer doesn't appear on the field. Again, a fix, it's add a second layer, then add a selected generic 
image and then reselect your custom image. You can do that. So there's workarounds with that, just like the workaround I mentioned with the scheduling. But you can see that they're going through these things here. He says, my thoughts, some of these are things you'd, uh, you'd like to have right off the launch, but I haven't noticed half of them. Just glad for the transparency. Now, again, we know one thing about this community. As much as we are upset that this stuff is happening, the community, especially the college football you know, uh, 25 team, they really, really care. They want to get this stuff right. I also was able to take this picture from Dynasty. Dynasty's been having some issues because, uh, first of all, if you're six foot four and you weigh 54 pounds, you have the most incredible case of cancer I've ever seen in my entire life. So these are offensive linemen, agile, power, agile, agile. Six three, 52 pounds. Six foot five, 63 pounds. Six foot seven, 68 pounds. Those are little tiny things they need to address going forward. And in addition to these, there's also a lot of things they need to do on the custom playbook side. Let me show you a couple examples right here. One of the big issues in this game that I have found myself is these custom playbooks on defense. So when I come over here, and I'm gonna actually gonna make myself a custom playbook right now to show you guys in real time what this looks like. Let's make ourselves a 3-3-5 tight defensive playbook. So when we get in here, we can see, oh, cool. So we've got a uh, nickel, 3-3, three, three, but th no, those aren't nickel. Those aren't 3-3-5. Three, three, so where did the 3-3-5 three, three, go? Oh, well, it's probably in the playbook. So we come over here and we check it out, and it's not in the playbook. But then we come over here to all the plays, we go to the 335, and it's actually in there. So the split is in there, the tight is in there, it says those plays are in there. So you're like, oh, well, it's probably just a little glitch. It's not in the game. What we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and save this playbook, and it will just be in the playbook when we use it. So we're going to save this as custom 335 tight, but again, like I said, it wasn't in there. It said it was in there on the all plays, but on the specific audibles, it wasn't. It's probably going to be in there, right? So we actually don't see it anymore. All we have is we have 3-4, which all the way is at the bottom, by the way. We have dime and nickel, not 3-3-5. Three, three, so we made a 3-3-5 three, three, defense with no changes, and there's no 3-3-5 three, three, in the playbook. Offense works a little bit better how they're able to actually put these plays in the game. One of the issues, though, I have with it, and this is just a, this isn't necessarily a fix that they're going to make, but it's something that I would really appreciate if they did. We come over here to the all plays, specifically if I wanted to go to shotgun. Uh, we go through here. What is the rhyme and reason from this? Wing off, split, X nasty, trips, X fly flex, duo. It's not alpha, but it's not alphabetized. It's not anything. This is twins. This is 11. This is 11. This is 5Y. This is, again, there's a zillion different things with this. There's no rhyme or reason. They need to make this have a rhyme or reason so we can play off of that. And another thing that's kind of annoying, I'm on my playbook here. The very top thing is Hail Mary and then special and then goal line and then the plays I actually picked. It'd be cool if you could actually move these towards the top where you're going to be using them. I'm not going to be using Hail Mary first off. I need to have my pistol, my shotgun, my single back. I'd also like to be able to reorder them if possible. But again, we're just going to make sure that this, we need to fix a couple things first. Like there's a lot of things they need to fix, but this is one of them, especially with the playbooks. So we're super happy with the game in terms of the gameplay and in terms of the ambiance and the atmosphere of the game. However, there's some presentation things they need to get right now. We obviously know about, you know, the, the weights of the people being wrong in Dynasty. Team builder not loading. There's only 20 uh, custom coaches can be allowed into a Dynasty, but you can have 32 members for 32 team builder teams. Again, what is the rule? There's lots of things they need to kind of iron out with that kind of thing, especially the custom playbooks. The custom playbooks, I'm telling you right now, if you don't think, believe me, make a custom 3-3-5 defense and try and have it, your 3-3-5 tight in the formation. You will not have it. So they need to address those things. It sounds like they're trying it. We know this community will give us what we want. How soon? We're going to see. All right, guys, get in the comments right now. What are some of the bugs that you've been noticing? Again, I know it's a lot of bugs. I'm still having a lot of fun with this game, but there's some things they need to work on. What are some of the bugs you guys notice? You get in the comments and let me know. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff. I really appreciate it. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys later. I am out.